so so this one is um this one is a fit blog and 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 what i mean by that is that i want to do something that talks specifically about fitness and what it is that you need to do to get yourself where it is that you want to go now i've been i've been at this thing for a while and I've, I, I keep learning more and more. There was a point that I thought I was as fit as I could ever be and I couldn't even imagine myself getting any fitter than I was. You know, I was able to run up and down and jump and do long distance running like 5Ks and, and um, you know, felt like I was in pretty good shape, you know. Then a couple, a few months ago, I, I did a 200 hour yoga teacher training course and what that afforded me or what that showed me in terms of fitness was just to a whole nother level. While, while I was able to run and I was able to, you know, be able to do things, you know, be able to explode when I wanted to and, 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 and just have that kind of level of fitness, there's a peace and um, a joy that comes when you are at one with your breath. When everything just seems to be working perfectly, when each breath that you take is not one where you're trying to, you know, to get something that you can go the next step, but it's just like, it's just a part of the next, the next moment, the next move, and you find that your movement becomes effortless. The next time you're running, just focus on your breath and allow your legs to do what they do and allow your arms to do what they do. And just focus on your breath and try to get as much air in as possible and then be equal in terms of how it is that you release that breath from your body as well so when you take a deep breath it's like you take it all the way in but at the same time you keep making your steps one two three four five six seven whatever however many steps you can get from that one intake and as you release don't try to release at the level of the one two three four five because you take in at a much slower rate than you let out you see because once that space open up <sighs> You can let out everything in an instant, but you, it's very difficult, especially when it is that you're practicing deep breathing for you to go that fast coming in. So it's more like a gradual. And then when you get to the top, sometimes we have a tendency to just kind of hold it. You know, so as you're coming out, you're counting. One, two, three, four. So where you get six or seven going up, you might count, you know, four, uh, maybe five at the most coming, coming back down and maybe even less than that. But what it is that you need to ensure is that you get as much of it out as possible and then just breathe it in again. And so now each time that you take a step, each step that you take is just like you're actually breathing. It's, it becomes a part of the step as opposed to you taking a step so that you can breathe or you're taking a step and breathing into that step. So it's not a <laughs> way actually moving the limbs on the breath where you're actually just moving your limbs and then you're just breathing. So you, your limbs get the benefits of your in-breath as well as your out-breath. So it's just... <sighs> and so it's like constantly feeding the body, feeding the bones, feeding the muscles what it needs so the oxygen is then even and that is kind of how it is that you do it. Now it's, it's, it's a lot easier said than done because you actually have to feel what it feels like to be in the zone because it's going to feel, um, it's just going to be very strange at first. It's just going to be very strange at first because how can you how can you control your breathing? Something that seems like, you know, ever since you were born, you're just breathing in and out. And so my thing is not to control your breathing, but to just have your breathing be a part of your entire body and not just a part of your chest and not just air that comes in. and you, you Not just think about it as air coming in and out of your nose, but actually thinking of nourishing your entire body in a way that only your breath can, in a way that only fresh air can. And as much as you can, get into environments where the air is more fresh and so you can breathe deep and breathe into all your organs, all your, your just every aspect of your body. So when you take the deep breath in, don't just think about it as nourishing your chest. Use your mind to actually allow you to see where else in your body that breath is needed and where else in your body that breath is actually going. So as you breathe it in, 
It's like you can feel it going down your arms and down through the side body and down your abs and all the way through your legs and all the way out through your toes, to your fingertips, in your face, out to the tip of your nose, along the edges of your nose, down along the edges of your lips, and just all over you can actually feel the air breathing in and out. And whatever toxins are in your body, you can actually feel it pulling all of those toxins away and then releasing them on the breath as well. So you find that the breathing aspect of things, it's, it's extremely important. And the thing is, once you understand breathing, then you will understand struggle and you'll also be free from struggle. Breathing is something that you've always had, yet you've always struggled you know, with how it is to unify it in such a way that you can get maximum benefits from it and not feel like you're working for it. Where you're constantly trying to breathe, you're constantly trying to catch your breath, you're trying, constantly trying to understand how it is to breathe in a way that you can get the most out of it. You can actually get to the point where one day you realize that all aspects of your breathing is, is, is just complete. And when it is that you understand that all aspects of your breathing is complete, you then find that you can do things that you were never able to do before. And it is now you that can connect that to whatever else you've learned about yourself, you know. And so all the work that you've been doing over the years and all the different balancing that you've been doing over the years, now that you've found the breathing, it is now time for you to connect with all of that kind of stuff. And so when it is that you're going through some of your periods where you might want to um, lose your mind or you might want to get upset about something or any of those kind of things, what will now happen is that you will now be able to breathe and then to be able to relax and use all of the other tools, including now the breathing, to be able to get better perspective on where exactly it is that you are and how it is that you have to deal with a situation that you did not finish with um, that happened years ago. Because a lot, of, a lot of the time we're told to stay away from the past because the past has so much pain and so much baggage and so much all of these different things. But unless you acknowledge those pain and baggage and all of those things and reconcile with them, unless you do that, you find yourself in a space where you're always, you know, trying to play this game of, 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 of just avoiding certain things because they're too painful to look at. But with breathing... Once you are able to breathe, it will now give you the time that you need so you can go back and realize that, okay, hang on a second here, I'm overreacting in this situation, or I can see where it is that I went wrong in that situation. But each, wherever, wherever you go, there seems to be like a much clearer message that you get from the meditation once you are able to breathe and you're able to bring your body and you're able to settle in such a way that you can actually get the clarity you need. You can acknowledge the clarity that you need being, you know, you know, accessible to you in that moment so that you can actually make some better choices with your life. So we talk about breathing from the perspective of fitness, but breathing is, is just, it's life. It's all of life. It helps in all aspects. And here, here's a way to, for you to gauge the importance of, of breathing and even to also get a better understanding as to where you are, where your breathing is concerned. It's, um, just focus on your breath for a bit. And every time that you're doing something or you find yourself in a situation where you're thinking about something that is stressful or something that is unpleasant for you to deal with or maybe you're carrying something or maybe at the gym and you're pushing weights and all that kind of stuff, just think about what happens whenever it is that you get behind something that you feel like you're pressured. Whether it be that you have a barbell coming down on your chest and you feel pressured and you have to put in, in terms of having to push it back up or whether it be bills that are coming down on you and you feel pressure because you don't know where the money is going to come from. Think about what it is that you do in those moments. The first thing you do, you know, which is what leads to more of the negative stuff, is that you stop breathing. When you're under the weight, it's just like you... And then you stop breathing. And when you get to the very top, you get through all the struggle. Then you breathe a sigh of relief. And so the sigh of relief, though it feels good at the end... But can you imagine if you had the power of that breath to take you all the way through the lift and it was more like it makes a difference and I know 
when I first started doing it, it was difficult to actually see how it is that breathing out could be even more beneficial than just closing my breath and just powering it out. But then I realized that, um, that the power was in the breath and that when I didn't hold my breath, what it is that I was doing is that I was doing something that was, it was, um, it didn't connect. You know, it was, not harm, it was not in harmony with how it is that I can get the most out of my body. So what it is that I needed to do was I needed to feed all my cells, feed all my muscles, feed all, feed all my joints, everybody aligned, and then just allow my breath to, to, uh, to assist that process by just simply having it float in the direction that I want it to go. And then as I take another deep breath in, I allow it to contract all the way to where I want it to go. And as I breathe in again, And you can see how it is that if you're able to just simply just, <coughs> you'd see how easy you would get tired because of all of what it is that, that the more effort that it puts into having to close, hold your breath and then release and hold it again and release and hold. When as before, here's what you do naturally. As you step, you breathe. So all you're doing now is just to figure out how it is that um, you just actually, you know, how that becomes a part of your regular routine. So it's to see how it is that we can, you know, create a balance in what, um, in our own bodies. The body will give up, um, put it this way, the mind gives up way faster than the body will. So if somehow you can get the mind to hang in there, then the body will be ready to do whatever it is that the mind can be possibly up to. In other words, if your mind has been programmed to quit, oftentimes you'll find yourself in situations where all it takes from you is just a bit more discipline. All it requires from you is just your, just your seeing it through, that you deciding that you're not quit, gonna quit this time around. It's like when you're going through a breathing exercise. If it is that you're supposed to be doing 10 rounds of deep breathing, it might seem tedious and you might not even want to do it. But each time you complete the task that you were assigned, you're given clearance to go to the next level. And for each time you don't complete the task that was assigned, you have to repeat the class all over again. So the truth be told is that it's, in a sense, it's never too late. But there's also such a thing as prolonged suffering. And so what will happen is that even though you can always find the answers that you need so that you can clear yourself, so if you don't act in this moment, that you'll get an opportunity again. But you can choose to end the suffering right now. Truth be told, the lessons that you will learn in going through all the other ways are lessons that you've already learned and you've learned so many times in your life and you've gotten so good at going through the crisis and handling the problems and dealing with the issues and struggling whatever it is that you have to struggle with but know that you don't have to do that anymore you're allowed to get off the train you've experienced enough You've seen enough, you've done enough. It's your time to live. It's your time to shine, it's your time to be all that you can possibly be. You did not come here just for the purpose of bouncing around and beating around and doing a lot of projects that you felt or other people might feel or that you know didn't come to fruition or didn't end in a way. It's never about them, it's always about you. When you think about all the things that you might have thought you failed at, or people might have thought you failed at, who are you now as a result of having had those experiences that you've had? 
if it's even that you know that there are certain things that you've done that you would never do again because you can see how it is that they did not serve you or you can see how they don't serve you. And the beautiful thing is that now you get to choose. And you get to choose from a place of a place of clarity. If you can understand the power of your breath and how it is that being able to breathe in a way that it can give you or it can just give you the power you need so you can maxi maximize on every opportunity that you get. So that when moments that would have normally angered you present themselves to you, you're now in a space where you are, um, you're able to somehow just embrace them and release them. The time has come. Your greatness, your moment for greatness, your time to shine. You are center stage. The crowd waits, the crowd is ready to applaud. This time you're ready. This time the curtain is up. You have earned the right to stand where you're standing today. You have earned the right to be who you are today. You've earned the right to love in the way that you are loving today. You've earned the right to share the messages that you're sharing today. The eternal now is embraced by you today. All of God's creatures are loved by you today. This moment is grand, it is absolutely perfect, and the only way that there's anything wrong with this moment is only what it is that you choose to take away or what you choose to do with it. It's a perfect moment given to you to do with whatever you choose. Be peaceful. Be of good cheer. There's something to be said about making each moment count. Live with the knowing that you are everything and that everything is you. And that today we love from a place of Clarity, not just simply through obligations and lineage and expectations and all that kind of stuff, but as love, love through clarity. Because it's the right thing to do. I remind you that in times of great trials and tribulations, to always know that you can always go back to your breath. The staff of life is accessible to you and it has always been and always will be. Be of good cheer. You have everything. Everything that you need. 
everything you will ever need.